ओके डी स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी व्हाट इज देयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन अ बॉडी अंडरगोज सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन व्हिच ग्राफ करेक्टली शोस द वेरिएशन विद डिस्प्लेसमेंट एक्स ऑफ द वेलोसिटी वी ऑफ द बॉडी ओके माय गॉड लाइक द द वेरिएशन ऑफ वेलोसिटी वी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू डिस्प्लेसमेंट लाइक आई हैव नेवर सीन दिस ग्राफ इन एनी ऑफ द बुक सो वी हैव टू क्रिएट इट बाय आवरसेल्स नाउ ओके लेट अस सी सो अ this kind of a variation is between uh, acceleration and displacement so i believe this will be wrong but anyways let us see how are we now going to do it so for this let us uh, utilize the equations that have been already given to us uh let me let me let me show you okay first of all let us take this x as x not into cos omega t so let us say this uh, is given to us and um, we take this as the displacement function so the velocity function here will be negative of x not omega sin omega t okay so this will be the velocity i know calculus that is why i can just do it in my mind and if you do not know the calculus i can tell you this thing that these two formulas are available in your data booklet in topic 9.1 so you can copy these things from 9.1 now so these have been given there okay so this is it so now we know that x is a variable with cos and v is the variable with sin but with a negative sign so how can we comment on the graph now so there are two methods number one either you create the locus now this literally becomes mathematics hl <laughs> to create the locus of a circle or an ellipse so it will become an ellipse so it is really like i will prefer not to go into that so there is another method also we can now find the slope of the graph instantaneous and we can find like in which uh, quadrant what could be the slope and all that so for this the slope will be given by the ratio v by x because v is y and x is x so let us create the function of slope v by x minus x not omega sin omega t divided by x not cos omega t x not x not gets cancelled out it comes out to be negative negative omega tangent omega t so this is v by x or i can say that this is the slope so we are concerned with slope now so whether the slope will be positive or negative we have to see this so this is the first quadrant this is second quadrant this is third quadrant and this is fourth quadrant now in mathematics in trigonometry in iv1 we do this thing isn't it unit circle do you remember that now in the unit circle we know like which uh, trigonometric quantity is positive or which is negative in which quadrants and what they say um all student teachers cry all student it means sign teachers that is tan all student teacher cry means cos so it's just a mnemonic to remember it all student teacher cry or they say that all science teacher cry all students to cinema all students to college anyways so uh so accordingly in the first quadrant the tangent is positive so if this is positive the slope is negative so i'm just writing it here that here the slope is negative and in the second quadrant tan is negative though so the slope will become positive here the tan is positive the slope becomes negative and here the tan becomes negative again so slope becomes positive we have to just verify it yes in the case of ellipse it is right here you see the slope instantaneous slope is negative here in the second quadrant the slope comes out to be positive in the fourth quadrant the slope is positive and in the third quadrant yes the slope is negative so this is possible only and only in this option other options are not possible so this is not possible this is not possible and that is also not possible so a is the correct option let us verify it from the mark scheme as well as let me show you the other graphs so as per the graphs are concerned you can see that here we want the negative slope but here it is positive so this is ruled out this is definitely ruled out and here this has to be the negative slope but here you have the positive slope so c is also ruled out so according to the mark scheme yes the answer is a so my dear students this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel all the best 